This brief tutorial discusses getting set up to use SQL Server 2019 Express along with SQL Server Management Studio. The one trick with Microsoft products is they tend to change their websites frequently uh, and their links for downloading their software. Uh, the best thing to do is to always check Google for the most recent link and find the proper search result. Uh, here I searched for SQL Server 2019 Express Edition download. Uh, it's the second result after you look at past the past ad, um, the paid ad result. You go to this site and uh, if you're going to get the most current version, which is 2019 as of this video, uh, you're going to download it in the language that you need. Uh, this is actually going to be the installer for everything you need to set up uh, SQL Server on your local computer using the free edition uh, that uh, you can learn uh, everything that you need to learn to create databases, write queries, uh, and get a working familiarity with SQL Server, the database, along with SQL Server Management Studio. Once you've um, downloaded the installer and it launches uh, and you've run through the installation uh, setup, you'll, you'll get to this installation center and here uh, you can go through a planning process to make sure you have all the hardware and software requirements. Uh, and if you're good, you go to the installation section. Uh, the best thing to do is first do the new SQL Server standalone installation uh, and choose the features that you want. That's going to give you your database so you can connect to with SQL Server Management Studio. So you have to get the standalone installation set up so you have a version of SQL Server Express set up on your computer. Um, I have that installer running here uh, currently on my computer and um, I'll just bring it over on the screen and you kind of see uh, there's a several steps that it has to go through. It takes a little while to set up the actual um, SQL Express uh, when you're going through it, there's going to be a section that's going to allow you to set up the name that you want to use to call it. Pay close attention to that uh, so that when you go to connect from Management Studio later on, you'll remember the name that you chose. Uh, so on this uh, server configuration and database engine configuration, those options there are what you want to pay close attention to when you're choosing all the steps uh, to install. And also in the uh, feature selection, you want to make sure you choose the option for local database. I already have the installer running, so I can't go back and show those. But those are important to get SQL Express uh, set up on your computer. Uh, the other piece is after you've gotten SQL Express set up, you want to come back to this installation center and you want to install SQL Server Management Tools. Uh, that's SSMS. That's the tool you're going to be using to connect to your database and to actually create your databases, restore databases, uh, and to work with SQL. Uh, hopefully this tutorial gives you enough background to get you started to do the installation. Uh, but if you have any issues or challenges, uh, you can always reach out, post comments below. I'll give you pointers and how to uh, get on the right path. I hope you found this useful. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and uh, stay tuned for more videos on SQL Server.